you're here on Glad Rap Channel, our famous boxing um, channel here in New Zealand. We're doing something different. We're not just covering boxing, but a little bit of America's Cup. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, well, thank you. Now, introduce yourself to the, our viewers who are not really used to America's Cup. <laughs> yeah, my name's Jimmy Spithill. I'm with Lena Rossa, Prada Prelli. And, you know, just a typical morning in doing rounds with Joe Parker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys look like you're having lots of fun right there. Yeah, big fan of Joe's and, and Junior as well. I mean, they're two incredible athletes. Really looking forward to this fight. And, man, I can't wait to see it. Now, I did a little bit of research on you, just a little bit, and I see that you are a two-time gold medalist world champion in sailing. I've been, uh, you know, got a bit of luck here and there, and <laughs> yeah, I've just been fortunate. I've always had great teams around me, always enjoyed working in a group, but I've also enjoyed, you know, doing this sort of training as well. always find that my reactions and kind of decisions, you know, especially if you're exhausted or under stress in the water, that a lot of the training we're doing here is actually quite good preparation. And um, did I hear that you actually did a little bit of boxing yourself? Well, I'm a redhead, mate, so you grow up, <laughs> you're doing a bit of fighting whether you like it or not. But no, I uh, was did a little bit of amateur stuff when uh, I was going through high school. Yep, yep, down the North Sydney Police Boys Club. Uh, yeah, I just love the training, you know. It was uh, just an incredible culture, great team environment. And yeah, it just gives you a bit of you know self-confidence as well. Does it um, help you with uh, sailing a bit? Uh, Especially with the upper arm, uh, upper body strength of uh, rowing, or well, not rowing, but uh, what are they call them? Oh, grinding. <laughs> yeah, grinding. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, the cardio and the, the physical limits now in the America's Cup are right up there. I mean, that's why we're hiring Olympic rowers for the most part. But the other thing too that's great about boxing, I find, is that you know you got to make decisions under stress, and you got to be able to you know make make a change if something's not working, and if you make a mistake, you're going to know about it. Now, I read on Wikipedia, yes, I did my research on Wikipedia, um, it that, oh, it must be accurate, um, that you were the skipper when, uh, was it, the boat that you were skipping, skip, I, I don't know my terminology, um, when, <laughs> um, that won the America's Cup from New Zealand. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> You're just waiting for someone just to mention that. Um, so how is that, um, so not only did you actually win it from New Zealand, but you also uh, defended it a couple of times as well. Yeah, we had a great run uh, for a while there, and but, you know, just, just to be clear, the Kiwis gave us a good hiding in Bermuda on the last one. But now we have a great opportunity, you know, that we can't worry too much, to be honest, about the America's Cup. We've got to get through this uh, Challenger final series, which kicks off tomorrow. It's going to be a tough battle against the British, but you know that's where you do it, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, I was going to ask that because it seems that the British were—it's almost like it's a completely different team from when they were starting off in the um, round robin, which is called round robin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, in America's Cup, it's all about development. You know, I mean, especially now the the boats and the concepts so new that you're really learning something every single day, and it really is about the team that can progress their development. Uh, all the way through to the end. I mean, we'll never stop trying to make the boat go faster, as will every other team. So it's really who does a better job of that will uh, more than likely be holding that cup. So, two more questions. Um, first one, do you get your whole team to do a little bit of boxing preparing for <laughs> America's Cup? Yeah, over the past, as in all the teams, we've done a little boxing at times, especially pad work, you know, because it's great for your actions and, and just being sharp hand-eye coordination. But we've got some fantastic athletes in the team. You know, it was some real machines, and yeah, very, very lucky to be with them. Okay, and the final question for the boxing, well, we'll do two more questions actually. The final question for the boxing world, who do you think is going to win against uh, Parker and Junior? <laughs> you got me on the spot there. Look, they're both uh, two incredible boxers, man. I mean, uh, well, I, and I think how lucky is New Zealand to get this fight right now with everything that's going on? Man, so fortunate, and I think it's cool that it put such a huge focus I've got a huge amount of respect for those two guys getting in the ring at that level. Man, what a battle. Okay, and now your prediction for your current cup and America's cup. Well, look, right now we've got to get through this final. Yeah. It's the key, whoever goes through, the Kiwis are going to be very, very difficult to beat. They're a great team, solid everywhere, no real weaknesses. But we can't think about them too much. We've got to focus on the Poms over this weekend and the coming days. And just one race at a time for us. Well, thank you for the interview, and thank, um, welcome to New Zealand. I think you've been here before because uh, you're just across the ditch, aren't you? From originally from Sydney, right? Yeah, originally from Sydney, but I uh, spent a lot of time in New Zealand. 
lot of mates and uh, yeah, love it here. It's a great spot. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Thanks,